Super easy. I heard that too. Next cast between those, another fish. Oh my gosh. I'd love to get on a little popper bite. That's what I put on was one of those little teeny pop bars. I think I got this in a bank and creek kit. Lure net. Threw it on my little tiny spinning set up here. I figure that should work, right? I don't see why it wouldn't. Four pound braid. I put a little four pound mono leader on it. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Look at that. Can work it right here at the edge of the boat. Oh, how a lake can change in no time at all. There's one. Well, that didn't take long at all to get a popper fish to come up and eat it. Oh, this is fun. Four pound, four pound braid to a little four pound leader. It's not a giant fish. Gosh, they feel fun on that ultralight. Look at that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Digging, digging. My little trout set up for bass. Pretty dang fun if you ask me. Come back, feller. Man, he is pulling and digging. I better use the net on him. We gotta, we gotta land our first, our first popper fish that night. I feel like it'd be bad luck if I lost it. And here I am messing around with the thing and probably, oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Oh, this little popper. Oh, what? <laughs> that is not what I thought it was. I thought that was maybe a little tiny one pound fish. Okay, well, first one of the night is a, uh, in surprising fashion, over two pounder. Remember last time I was out here, I was struggling to catch anything over two pounds. This dude is definitely two. Let's freaking go. Well, it might just be a popper night. I brought all this fancy BFS stuff and I end up using my little Walmart rod and, and the little dial reel that I got on the doorbuster sale at Gander before it went out. Rest in peace, Gander. All right, weight says, oh, two pounds even. I thought he was gonna be more than that. Okay, so we flip-flop to start the night, two pounder on a little tiny popper. All right, there we go. Let that dude go. Thank you, sir. All right, two pounder, first one, let's go. Okay, well, there it is, the little teeny popper, the first one to strike uh, in uh, Debo finger measurement. That's a two inch bait, as you can see there. Yeah, okay, well. Any more over here by these uh, lily pads? Oh, yes! <laughs> Next cast, that's two in a row! I was not expecting this to be the deal tonight. I wonder if they're just sitting out around those lily pads hanging out. Is this dude coming toward me or is he off? No, he's still on. Bowling right toward me here. I don't know how big this dude is. Are we going to have to just net land all these? Whoa! Whoa! Got a fight on our hands, folks. This is fun, man. This little tiny rod. This little topwater walking bait. Holy smokes. Look at that dude digging. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh my gosh, he engulfed it. Absolutely engulfed that. Okay, well, apparently they are feeding looking up. Because... When that's the sight you see. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Okay, there we go. Second one on the night. Over pound, little pound and a quarter, dude. Maybe we'll have to throw that little walking bait later too, see if anything's hitting that. But I mean, if they're eating a topwater popper, I don't, I don't really want to change. You still there, fish? Got a little micro popper for you actually walk this. I tied a loop knot. It didn't come with the split ring. So I put a little loop knot on it. And the problem is there's these little isolated pieces of grass and stuff that I'm hitting. You can walk this little thing on this little rod. Super easy. <laughs> Did I tell you you can walk that? Is that a crappie? Nope. Oh, it is a crappie. Oh, I didn't bring a stringer. That was a topwater walking popper. Water freaking crappie. 
What? <laughs> I know all my kayak nerds right now are like, ooh, measure it, measure it. Panfish and crappie are the only things I actually do measure, so. I was gonna throw in a bucket or a stringer, and I don't have either to keep fish. That is definitely a keeper. My hand like this is nine inches. That's a 10, 11 inch crappie. Take that. Dang, yeah, he would have been perfect keeper size. Dang it. Oh, there's a deer up there. See if you see it come through. Right behind those trees. Deer come running right out of those trees. Oh gosh, something right on it. He got it too as soon as I jiggled it. Another good one. Oh, out of the water. Oh, please stay on running at me. It looks like another decent fish. Dude, I cannot believe this is the bite tonight. Absolutely cannot believe it. Boy, he's trying to throw it. It looks like another solid pound and a half or two. Oh my gosh, this is a blast. I'm not going to lie. Do you need all the fancy BFS gear like I had on my other ones? Nope. Just using my budget combo from walmart and my oh yeah that's another solid that might be another two pounder boy he swallowed it too holy smokes <laughs> dude when they're doing that you know they are eating and they're looking up um, oh he's pounding three quarter closer to two we'll let him go though since he's bleeding well i might not have to move from these pads it seems like there's a whole bunch of fish around here eating Looks like there might be some fry and stuff around here too, so I don't know if there's crappie and other stuff just in here kind of chasing these, but dude, I was not expecting the little popper to be. Well, there's that deer up there, see it? Running through the field, right up yonder. Little deer, oh deer. Oh my God, dude, no. oh no, that was a good one. Oh, that's the first one I've lost, dude, that was a solid fish. Dang it. Well, we know we're doing the right thing. I'm just going to keep throwing around over here by these pads. Dang it. That was a good fish. He hammered that too. Is that him? Did he come back? Oh my gosh, dude. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me on this tiny popper? Dude, this is a blast. This is an absolute freaking blast. A whole bunch of pound and a half, two pound fish that are just annihilating this poor little dude. Oh my gosh. Dude, that dude porpoised. I just said, dude, that dude. Dude, where's my car? This is absolutely a blast. This feels like another really good fish. But I'm not used to fishing them on ultralights like this. But if it's another two pounder, I'll take that. Oh no, is he still on? Yeah, he's still on. Oh gosh, he's on a whole bunch of muck. Holy crap. He's in all this stuff. I don't know what the heck happened. Where he got in this? Oh. Are you the one that hit it and missed it, sir? You came back? Hmm? You wanted to appear on Debo's fishing? Sir, you were a blast to catch. You are a gem to show up on this channel because that is a blast. Dude, another solid freaking fish. I'm catching bigger fish on this micro popper than I was two weeks ago here on the drop shot. I gotta get my popper out of there. I'm lucky this is one of those nets that has like that plastic coating because then they don't get super stuck. There we go. Another another pound and three quarter fish. So let's just get away. And that's pretty much the same size as that other one I caught. It was bleeding. I let him go. It says, yeah, close. One pound, 10 ounces, over pound and a half, between pound and a half, pound and three quarters, dude. When they come up like that and hammer it, that is freaking fun. Well, I had the feeling tonight could be one of those nights. As you can see over here, we've got storms rolling in. I'm hoping they miss me. It says they're not supposed to get here till late. Um, I hope that's the case because I really don't want to get stormed on out here. But I figure with storms coming in this time of year, early summer, dude, I bet there's going to be some fish coming up to eat top water. I'll be honest, I would not have put my money on this little popper though, catching them like this. Oh, there's the dinner. Is Danner going to come check me? Danner, I don't have a fishing license. I just fish out here in a kayak. I'm kidding. Have your fishing license. 
always have a fishing license. I always wanted to do that to DNR. They'll be like, oh, dude, there's another one. Next cast between those, another fish. Oh my gosh, dude, and they are not shy about showing off their jumps. This is the smallest, oh my God, dude. Oh my gosh, on a light rod like this, a blast, absolutely a blast fishing you friends. And he inhaled that thing too. Crushing it. Wow. They want a little bait. These fish are chasing small bait fish, looking up and eating. There we go, a little over a pound. Look at his belly. Chunky little pounder. Thank you, friend. I think that's a bluegill that just grabbed the back hook. Yeah, this guy's not big. Yeah, we even got we even got little bluegills grabbing at the back hook now. It is a multi-species night. Look at that. We even found a little little gilly. Look at that beautiful post spawn colors. You got that tealish blue, orange. Purdy. Ooh, oh, missed it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. got it on his second try. Good job, little buddy. Look like a little bass. That's a go. Oh my gosh. Giving us a show. He says, little guy, I'll show you little. I'm full of P and V. Can fight just like those big dudes on your little ultralight taco. Look at him. Not giving up. He's like, Debo. Calling me little. I'm the only size of fish you catch, bro. Well, you're welcome on my channel, buddy. Thanks for putting up the fight for all the fish and friends. There we go. Another little pounder on it. We've caught a good little mix. We've caught some two pounder. We caught a good crappie. Some smaller bass. This is fun though. One one lure night, dude. It's fun when we can do this and find just one lure. Lock one little combo in your hand and just start catching fish left and right. Man, the only thing that makes this horrible is, dude, I, I don't know how many times I've said it and I'll put it on video, but dude, these gnats are just Warming. Let's pedal back over to those pads. I was thinking maybe we could get away from some of these stupid gnats. Thought they might be hanging around that. No, 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 they just, they followed us. Oh gosh. Yep. <laughs> yeah, whatever it is around these, uh, these little pads, they're digging it. Holy smokes, that dude demolished it. Absolutely demolished it, dude. Oh, there we go. Another one over a pound. Dude, none of these fish have been like tiny, tiny. None of these bass anyway. I was, I honestly was gonna think like, if I get on some tonight, they're gonna be like two ounce fish. I haven't had anything under a pound. Another little pound and a quarter fish. Topwater popper, just the little guy. You know, just the, just the little dude coming in prepared. Didn't even see that one hit. Looking down at my foot. That a bluegill, what? That was a bluegill that blew up on it like that. What in tarnation, what are you doing buddy? What are you doing? Gorgeous colors on him. Blue, look at that blue and purple. Dark head with the black. That's perfect for a picture. I think that was another bluegill. <laughs> now the bluegill are eating it. Oh, nope. Another feisty little bass. This might be the tiny one that we were bound to catch after I jinxed us said, hey, we haven't had any teeny ones, hey. There we go. Had to catch our Debo dink on it, I guess. Maybe I caught one this size already, I don't remember. There we go, another little chunky, look at that dude, chunky little dink. I thought that was a bluegill the way it came up and slurped it. Nope, nope, another, uh, another bass. I don't even know what we're up to, I haven't even been counting. What a fun night, my gosh. So I've kind of been just going back and forth between popping it it seems like most of the bass when i was throwing it over there were hitting it within the first couple pops 
and you know normally to me a popper is more of a like a target you know like a lay down you know certain targets docks that kind of stuff because it's kind of hard to cover water but out here it's so smooth tonight calm i can just kind of walk it back on this little combo and got a couple doing it that way too there's another bass there's a crappie another crappie walking it apparently the crappie like it moving better both of those crappie have hit it while it was moving my friend you are lucky i didn't bring the stringer because i would be eating the crappie no stringer no bucket no nothing to keep in I'm not gonna have you flopping around at my feet the whole time okay there we go another crappie on it Ooh, there they are chasing little fish again over here can i get it in between those pads Oh, I think that's about as good as it's gonna get. There's stuff chasing farther back too. What was that? That just came up and slurped it. Don't know what it was. Another bass. Come up and shoot it. The little tiny popper. Gosh, what a blast tonight. I was even thinking, man, maybe I need to go out and try that, uh, that topwater walking bait, but haven't needed to. They've been digging the little popper. water and bugs on my mouth on that one there we go another one over a pound man it's been honestly far better than i thought for size i really would have guessed way more dinky ones another little pound and a quarter fish i mean a bunch of good little fish on this you know it's not these aren't record breaking i'm a bass bass pro or anything but for a night of coming out and catching fish hell yes this is fun don't need anything that's the thing with top water. You don't need anything expensive. I mean, you're seeing the bites. Obviously, you can see them blow up. You don't need crazy sensitivity. You just need, you know, need something with a decent bend in it. If you're throwing treble hooks like this, you don't want to go too stiff. Not too heavy a line where you can work your bait. You know, like this, this four pound little mono leaders help keeping that braid out of the front of the popper. And it's light enough where I can walk this back and forth and work it. There's stuff blowing out. It's the third thing I've seen. We're going to go up that way. Third thing I've seen blow up on the bank over there. <laughs> I thought I saw something chasing over there. <laughs> this is fun. This is fun. Catching bass on a little ultralight popper. Top water. This is fun. A bunch of angry, feisty little fish tonight. Man, what a blast. What a blast. A bunch of little dudes that are just... <coughs> Might be able to skip supper tonight. <clears throat> Sorry for that break. That's the third, I think, freaking gnat thing that I've ate tonight. <sighs> Whoops, wasn't recording there. Moved spots a little bit over here toward the store where I said I saw him jumping. And first pop is a fish. Little fish right here. Oh, is he going to come off? No, we still got him. We've had some size, we've had some smaller guys. Been a night of a bunch of stuff. I don't know if he would even go a pound. One of the smaller ones on the night, but that's a good sign when you haven't had many of those. There's another one. Thought I saw a fish jumping over here. Another little bass. Feisty little dudes pinning bait up there against the bank. Guess that little popper will work. How many people am I making nervous by taking this off with my bare hands? Once you get your finger in them, usually you're okay. Famous last words, this one's gonna put it right in my thumb. How in the world, there we go. Tiny guy. So that is what a night of popper filled action looks like. And really, like I said in the video multiple times, I did not think that this little popper would be the deal that night when I get out in the water. But you can never, uh, never uh, call it each time you go out. Sometimes you're right, sometimes it ends up being a surprise. And this was it for me. This is the little tiny pop bar. You can see they're just a little two inch popper. Different than the one I've been throwing the lot, the new uh, Rebel pop bar, the P71. They had the old P70 that kind of came back out with this one, the P71. I've had a, luck on that, uh, a lot of luck on that one. 
and I was looking for my old original poppers um, from when I was a kid. They were the same color as this, the silver black back I had one, uh, and then I had one of the baby bass. Those were the mm, the colors back in the day. But a lure that I needed to throw more this year, and I've made more of an attempt to do it. You're gonna see some videos throwing uh, of me throwing that P71, another different popper, but man, the popper is such a good summer bait because it's great at picking apart those spots where you think bass are gonna be, whether it's a lay down, you know, a little brush pile under a dock usually a target type of bait for me. And tonight that target was that patch of lily pads. There happens to be a drop off next to it and there was just a bunch of fish sitting there. Um, you know, bluegill, crappie, bass. I was catching everything on it. And that's the fun part of this combo is that it didn't take anything special for it. This is that Vigilante, the 2.0. You've seen me throw this um, at my trout videos. That's what I got it for was trout fishing. This is a five foot six light rated for one sixteenth up to five sixteenth ounce lures, two to 10 pound line. It did absolutely awesome throwing this little thing. Now I paired that up with uh, the Diable RG. This is the old version of it. The one, like I said, that I got at the, uh, the Gander Mountain going on a business sale. That little 2000 size with some, uh, this is the Nano, whatever it is, the Berkeley Nano braid stuff. People have said that it's not the best braid, but I so far have not had a single issue with that. There was even a trout video where I pulled in a huge log with it. So. I usually always go braid to a leader with it on. Uh, it has done absolutely fine for me. So just check your line off. And I always try to check my line, make sure there's no frays. Um, and that's that's done fine for me. So not an expensive combo, like $25 rod, I think when I bought it, plus that reel was 30 bucks. So $50 combo. Mm. Like I said, there's gonna be some more popper videos coming. Uh, and that brings me to a question. Has there been a, a lure this year that you've tried to focus on more. Each year I try to do that. At the beginning of this year, um, I really didn't have a lure picked out because I got the kayak. So for me, it was more like try to get my bearings kayak fishing and not necessarily f uh, focus on a, a lure. But if there has been one, let me know. I've got another video coming up soon of three lures that were old school, used to work awesome for me. Haven't thrown them in, I don't know how long. So we're gonna make a, a video showing those, talking about them, then I'm gonna have a follow-up video of me taking those out on the water and fishing them. Should be a lot of fun. But listen, I need to edit. Today's subscribe fish and friend is, well, I didn't have anybody and I don't have my phone on me. So it's all of you. Again, I, I say it at the end of every video, um, the number of people that reach out to me for personal things, that share fishing stories, ask me questions on, on help buying gear, and there's definitely gonna be some more gear videos and stuff coming soon. We've got all the iCast releases. I've got a bunch of plan for vids. Um, I just need more time. Don't, why can't I find a way to make 30 hours in a day and spend that extra hours just fishing? But anyway, we're gonna have a bunch of that coming up. I love you all. Thank you all for continuing to support me in this channel. Thanks for watching and until 